Hey everybody, it's Facebook Live Friday. Actually, it's Food Freedom Friday. <laughs> I changed the name a while ago, I need to remember that. I'm Melissa Costello, I'm a transformational eating coach, owner of Karma Chow, and holistic nutritionist and author. Uh, I'm here today to talk about the very touchy topic of consistency. So a while ago, I asked you guys, my tribe, what was the hardest thing about losing weight and keeping it off? And the answer that most of you said was consistency. I have a hard time with consistency. So I thought it would be perfect to come on today for Food Freedom Friday and talk about consistency. So when it comes to consistency, we make a lot of mistakes. The number one mistake we make with consistency is perfection. So when any time we start to engage in whether it's consistent eating, clean eating, or doing something that's supportive, that's not yet a habit, we go into perfection mode. And what that does is it sets us up to not be consistent. <laughs> Anytime we try to do things perfectly, we are going to stop doing them pretty quickly. So perfectionism or wanting to be perfect is stopping you from being consistent. I can't tell you how many times I've had clients say to me, gosh, if I eat one cookie, I threw the whole day away, so I might as well just forget it and eat whatever I want, right? That's not really the way to build consistency, and that's not really true. You didn't really throw the whole day away. You ate a cookie, big deal, right? So you can see where it all happens up here that creates the mess. So the second thing that we do that stops us from being consistent is we listen to this too much, right? Like we set ourselves up. Not only is there perfectionism that stops us, but then there's also the inner critic that stops us. And the inner critic and perfectionism, they seem to go hand in hand. So consistency, if we're having a hard time staying consistent, a lot of times we have these beliefs about ourselves and we will sabotage whatever we're doing and then it's hard to be consistent. And a lot of times we will act out of an unconscious belief we have about ourselves. So I know this is kind of going a little bit deep, but this is what happens. So we have these beliefs about ourselves, whether we don't deserve to be happy, we don't deserve to be thin, we don't deserve to be worthy, we don't deserve to be successful. Sorry, it said my connection went, so I wanted to pause for a minute. We have these deeper beliefs about ourselves and those actually prevent us from being consistent because we will act in the way we believe ourselves to be, right? So the belief of our self image is how we will act. And I posted something about this, um, I think it was yesterday. So I took some notes here too, so I wanna make sure I don't miss anything. So the beliefs, what we tell ourselves, right? When we are, when we are inconsistent, a lot of times we will beat ourselves up. So that inner critic will be really, really loud and tell us like, oh, here you go again. You can't be consistent. You know, you messed up. What's the point? You're never going to get this. You're just going to always be overweight. You're never going to eat clean all the time. And so the things that we tell ourselves is another reason why we can't be consistent. It's based off of our beliefs, right? We have that inner critic. We also struggle with perfectionism. If it's not perfect, what's the point? And so we give up. And so you can see how these things can really stop us from being consistent. The one other huge mistake we make is trying to be consistent with too many things, with too many things at one time, right? So that's it, I'm just gonna eat clean and I'm gonna be consistent with eating clean. Well, eating clean, what does that mean, right? That's just such a general broad topic. So if you think about building habits and how habits are built with consistency, one habit that you've built since you were a little kid is brushing your teeth, right? But the way you built that habit is through your parents telling you every single night, 
go brush your teeth, go brush your teeth, go brush your teeth, go brush your teeth. Before school, go brush your teeth, go brush your teeth, go brush your teeth, right? You had someone hammering that in. And because someone was telling you, you went and did it, right? It was one thing you had to do, brush your teeth. <laughs> And you did it and your parents had to remind you constantly. You had that person telling you what to do all the time, right? Until eventually, probably when you became a teenager, <laughs> like me, you were brushing your teeth on your own without anyone telling you. It became a habit because someone instilled it in you long enough. So here's where we get into trouble. Brushing your teeth is one thing, it's easy right? It's one thing. What we do is we take on too many things when it comes to consistency. All of a sudden we are like, I'm going to eat clean. That's it. Or I'm going to cut out sugar, right? You can't just cut out sugar and not expect yourself to have a reaction to that. So you want to, to build consistency with health and with clean eating, you want to take things step by step. And what I mean is pick one thing, right? Like, drink more water. I'm going to drink more water. I'm going to drink water every single morning when I get up for the next 30 days. That's what I'm going to focus on being consistent about. I'm going to build that habit each day. I'm going to drink water. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to bed, put water right next to my bed. The second I get up, I'm going to drink water. Okay. So you want to make it simple for yourself. Otherwise it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. And this is more of a slow and steady way to build habits, but this is how you build habits that stick. We will focus on too many things at one time, and then it's too hard. It's too much for our brains to take in. And then we have belief systems, we have self-sabotage, we have criticism, we have perfectionism. All of those things stand in the way of us being consistent. So I hope this is making sense to you guys. Let me just check my notes. Okay. So I want you to ask yourself right now with this question, and if you can write it down, what am I consistent with right now and why? How have I, whatever this one thing is, what am I consistent with right now and why? Right? Maybe it's your exercise. Maybe it's moving your body every single day. Maybe it's taking a shower every morning. Like what is the thing that you are consistent with? What is the one thing you are consistent with and why? Write that down and get connected to it. And then start to think about, how did I get consistent with this? Is it because someone instilled it in me and taught me? Is it because I practiced day after day? How did I become consistent with this one thing? Right? So start to do a little bit of research. Start to be a scientist and start to uncover what are the things I do that are consistent? Make a list, make a list, and then write your why next to them, and then start to look at what they are. Are they simple? Are they hard? If they were hard, how did you do it? How did you learn to build consistency with the hard thing, right? Was it because you had someone telling you every day? Was it because you had support? Was it because you had a friend to do it with? You had accountability, right? Excuse me, what was it? What was the thing that helped you build consistency with that thing, right? The thing that's become now a habit. Because the more consistently we do something, the more it becomes a habit. So if you're going home after work every single day, eating dinner, and then you're plopping your butt on the couch, watching Netflix and eating a bowl of popcorn, that's gonna become consistent over time. You do that enough times, you're gonna wanna do that all the time, right? You will start to ingrain that as a habit. I'm not saying it's bad, but a lot of people ingest like two thirds of their calories just in that little window after dinner, two thirds of the day's calories in that little tiny window, right? So ask yourself, like, what are the things I'm consistent in? How did I become consistent in them and why? And then pick one thing, one thing that you want to build consistency around that's doable, right? One thing that's doable, not I'm going to eat clean for the rest of my life. No, that's not the way it works. And don't make some big false promise to yourself, like that's it, I'm giving up chocolate for the next 60 days or whatever it is, right? Because when you're doing it from a place of punishment, because so many of us will start to do these things from a place of punishment, they're not gonna stick because that inner rebel, that self-saboteur is going to put up a fight. <laughs> this inner critic, all of it, it's gonna put up a fight. 
so you guys can see how much this has to do with our mindset, right? You know I do so much work with this, and this is how we really transform our relationship to food and how we can lose weight permanently by changing our mindset, changing the way we think about food and the way we approach things and building habits. Okay, so I want you to ask yourself, what are the things I am consistent with and why? How did I do that? And then number two, what is one thing, one thing that I want to focus on for the next 20 days to get consistency around? One thing. And make it something simple. Make it something that you've been wanting to do. Maybe it's like journaling, right? I'm not saying that's simple for everyone. But something that you've been really wanting to do, like you feel like it's missing out of your life. Sorry, my, my, my network connection is just going in and out, so I hope you guys can see me. What is one thing that you want to get consistent around? One simple thing that you want to get consistent around. And then pick that thing, and I'd love for you to tell me in the comments what it is. Pick that thing, and then focus just on that for the next 20 to 30 days. And I'm gonna check in on how you did with the progress. We've had so much crazy weather here, you guys. Wind, hail, lightning, thunder, it's Santa Barbara. We've been in a drought for like eight, forever, right? And this winter we are getting hammered, thank gosh. But when you live in a small town with one internet provider, the internet's going in and out all the time. That's what's happening right now because it's super windy outside. And I lost internet last week and the week before. And it's just, you know, I, I do most of my work online in my business with my clients and everything, emailing and stuff like that. And so that's what's happening right now. I apologize. But anyway, consistency, right? The mistakes we make, perfectionism, right? We can't stay consistent and want to be perfect at the same time. Our belief system, what we believe about ourselves, we often act from our belief system, from our self-image, the way we feel about ourselves, the way we, what we think about ourselves. Our actions often follow that and our behaviors follow our thought process. So our behaviors come from our beliefs and our thoughts about ourselves. Right? So if you're consistently finding yourself negotiating out of all the commitments you make to yourself, right? It's because you don't believe in yourself enough. You believe there's, there's a deeper belief of I'm not worthy of having what I want. And so you'll consistently negotiate yourself out, right? That's why this inner work is so important. That's why switching the mindset is so important because it doesn't start with anything outside of us. Permanent weight loss doesn't come from anything outside of us, nothing, right? When I lost the 30 pounds that I lost, and now I've kept it off for over eight years, I never changed my food, ever. I changed my behavior, I changed my mindset, I changed my belief system, but I never changed my food. I never had to give anything up, I never had to stop eating something, because if I had to, that would have triggered me. That would have triggered me to overeat, it would have triggered me to binge, right? That's why all of these really strict type of diet things, they don't work for the long term, for the long haul, for the permanent weight loss. Because anytime we're restricting ourselves, especially when it comes to food, we're gonna have that pendulum swing. It just happens and it might take a long time before it happens, but it will happen because we can't live that way in constant state of restriction. We just can't. Not with food. We can with alcohol, we can with other things that are addictive, we can't do it with food. Some people might argue with that. I was never successful. I've never seen any of my clients be successful in that. And so I just wanna share that with you. And so when it comes to consistency, let's pick one thing for right now, focus on that, see if you can make it come, become a habit and become consistent over the next 20 to 30 days. I'm gonna check in with you on this. Thanks for joining me today. Let me know in the comments what the thing is that you're gonna to pick to focus on to be consistent with. And I also wanna know what's the thing you already are consistent with and how you did that. So tell me, all right guys, See you next Friday. Hopefully I'm going to be back with an interview 
I'm trying to get somebody really good for all of you. I love bringing these um, coaches and experts in so that we can talk and share. I had Jenny a few weeks ago and I had Lisa Goldberg last week and people have been loving the videos. So make sure you catch those on, uh, on this page under the video tab. You can catch all those videos. All right. Have a great weekend, everyone. I can't wait to hear what the thing you choose is that you're going to pick for consistency and the one thing you already are consistent with and how you became consistent with that. All right. I'll see you soon. Bye.